welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and today I'm going to be starting a Thanksgiving reading vlog. As you can tell, I am not at school. I am actually home for the entire week of Thanksgiving and I thought it would be fun to vlog the week because it really is one of my favorite times of year. I love when all of my family gets together and you kind of just take stock of what you're thankful for and my house is kind of like the hub for that so everyone comes here and I'm so excited. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to kind of vlog all the fun stuff we're doing this week. Before we get any further into the video, I'm going to turn it over to future Shelby who is going to talk about today's sponsor. Hey friends, it is future Shelby here today to talk to you about today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. I absolutely love working with Ana Luisa because they are an amazing jewelry company with a strong focus on sustainability. All of their jewelry is made from ethically sourced materials and their company is completely carbon neutral, which means they offset all of their carbon emissions, which is amazing for the environment. I absolutely love that their entire mission is to create beautiful jewelry that does not come at the earth's expense. Another thing I love about Ana Luisa are their incredibly affordable prices for high quality items. Currently, Ana Luisa is having an amazing Black Friday sale. It is their biggest sale of the year and it's buy one get one 60% off. So you have these amazing high quality items at a reduced price. Ana Luisa was kind enough to send me three pieces that I can show to you today and all the other jewelry I am wearing in this video is Ana Luisa. The first piece I got today was the Rowena bracelet. The Rowena bracelet is a contemporary twist on antique Chinese coins. It is so elegant and can be worn on literally any occasion. I loved the bracelet so much that I decided to get the matching earrings. They are the flower huggy earrings, also in that antique Chinese coin shape. I absolutely love the design, how minimal they are, and they can pair well with any studs if you like to stack your earrings. Speaking of studs and stacking earrings, I also got the mini disco studs. They are minimal, chic, and cute and can be paired well with any earring. I'm wearing them stacked in this video and I absolutely love how it looks. Once again, I want to say a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Just remember that their Black Friday sale is going on, so be sure to use the link in my description box to check out their pieces. Now we're going to bring it back to past Shelby for the rest of the video. I'm actually wearing all of those pieces right now. I absolutely adore them and you'll be seeing them throughout this video. Now for the book I am planning to read this week. This week I picked up a really cute middle grade to read and that is Winter House by Ben Gu Peterson. This is a middle grade book about an orphan who gets shipped off by her evil aunt and uncle to this hotel called Winter House. And Winter House is not everything that it appears to be. She finds in a library this big book of puzzles and she is determined to solve all of them. But while solving them, she realizes that Winter House may be more connected to her past than she originally thought. And it's this really wonderful, cozy, wintry mystery. I've heard a lot of great reviews for this one. Everyone that I've talked to that has read it says they absolutely adored it. So I'm really excited to pick it up. It kind of reminds me of Green Glass House, which is another wintry, mystery middle grade book and I loved Green Glass House so I'm really hoping that I'll enjoy Winter House as well. So right now it is Tuesday November 23rd it is 9 a.m. and it's a little chilly out but other than that it's a really beautiful day so I was thinking we could go on a little fall walk and find a cozy spot to just read for a little bit uh, so I thought we could do that right now. I'm gonna finish my tea and then we'll be off.
it is Wednesday morning. I didn't get a chance to film any more yesterday. The day kind of devolved into chaos. I had to go pick up my grandparents from the airport and the traffic was unlike anything I had ever seen before. It took so long when it only should have taken like 40 minutes total but that's besides the point. So I didn't get a chance to film yesterday, but I did get a chance to read and I kind of wanted to update you guys on my first few thoughts of Winter House. So I'm about 70 pages in and our main character Elizabeth has arrived at the Winter House Hotel and she's still unsure why her very cruel aunt and uncle would send her to such a nice place. Winter House seems to be kind of like a dream. There are puzzles and books and interesting seminars, all these different things that really interest Elizabeth. But there are also some really strange characters who are also staying at this hotel. People seem to know her before she even introduces her and it's this very strange eerie vibe right off the bat when you get to the hotel. I think Ben Gooderson has done a really great job so far setting up the big mystery that I have not gotten to yet but I'm excited to get to it because all of these different strange events seem to be building to something and I'm really excited to see what they're going to be building to. Elizabeth just went to breakfast her first morning at Winter House and she made a friend and they're connecting over anagrams and all these other fun puzzle things so it's nice to see that she's like made a friend at the hotel and that she won't just be alone solving all these mysteries so I really like that and this book has so far mentioned two of my personal favorite middle grade books that Elizabeth has read they mentioned The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe as well as The Mysterious Benedict Society and those are two of my favorite middle grades ever so the fact that they say that Elizabeth has been reading them makes me like her character all the more so yeah that's all the update I have for you right now today Today is actually a very exciting day. I have a lot of fun stuff planned so we are going to go downstairs and have some breakfast and then we're going to head to the Smithsonian because I love the Smithsonian. I feel very lucky to have lived near all that amazing art and culture my entire life and recently they have lifted the time entry tickets so the Smithsonian is free but because of COVID they have been requiring people to reserve spots in the day to go visit it and they just lifted that so anyone can walk in now so we're going to go to one of my favorite modern art museums called the Hirshhorn and then yeah I'm really excited to take you guys along to show you one of my favorite places and then we'll do some more reading and hang out but yeah that's the plan for the day so let's go. p.m. right now. It has been a packed day. Uh, the museum was really great. I always love going to the Hirshhorn. Their exhibits are just so cool and they were really interactive this time around so I, I encourage you if you're ever in DC to go visit it because it was just really wonderful. And then after the museum I went to my hair appointment. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks just much more light and natural and I I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So feeling good about that and while I was at my hair appointment I was able to get a lot of reading done with Winter House. 
I am currently at about chapter 17, about 150 pages in, and we are kind of getting more of the lore of Winter House, kind of discovering what makes it so eerie and strange. The people it is run by are super mysterious, there's a lot of mystery aspects to it, a lot of conflicting views from the different guests, and our main character, Elizabeth, is kind of having to sort through all these different things and kind of decipher what is true and what is not true. And another aspect of this book that I wasn't expecting is that there is kind of a magic aspect to this book. See, our main character, Elizabeth, gets these kind of feelings sometimes. She gets these kind of, like, feelings in her chest and then when she gets those feelings, something happens immediately after, whether that be, like, a book falls off the shelf or a door opens or something alerts her to something that is about to happen. So, she has been getting a lot of those senses and a lot of those feelings while being at the Winter House Hotel and I'm really enjoying it so far. I wonder how big of a role magic will play as a whole. I don't know. It's, it's very cozy. It's very cute. There's definitely an interactive element to the book as well. You can actually find puzzles and code breakers in it. Let me see if I can find one. So they have like actual puzzles like in the book for you to also like work on and solve. And there are illustrations as well, which I am really enjoying. Yeah, that's kind of my update for right now. For the rest of the night, I am planning to read. We are ordering pizza and watching the new Hawkeye TV show because Marvel has their last TV series coming out today, which is all about Hawkeye and him kind of training a new apprentice. And I'm super excited. I really love the character. So I'm really excited to watch this show. So we're going to eat pizza and watch it. And yeah, that's really it for the rest of the evening. I will take you guys along. And then tomorrow it's Thanksgiving, which I'm super excited for. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going with the vlog. bright out here I can't seem to get the camera at a good place like lighting wise so this will have to do uh, hi guys it is Thursday morning happy Thanksgiving my dog is <laughs> my dog is currently on a play date I don't know if you can hear it oh my god Okay, I think they've stopped barking. Um, anyway, uh, happy Thanksgiving again, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Winter House. So I'm about a little over 50% into the book, and I'm really enjoying it so far. We've kind of learned that there's this legend at Winter House where there's this magical book hidden in the library, and this book has the power to make winter house a paradise or to destroy it forever and there's a legend that says a descendant of the owners of the hotel will be the one to find it so there's this kind of mystical thing going on and we have elizabeth who's really interested in this story and wonders if it's connected to these feelings she's been having while being at this hotel and then you also have this like kind of sinister couple who is also staying at the hotel who gives off really strange and eerie vibes and you kind of get the sense that they are also looking for this book and that they have nefarious intentions for it so I think it's a really good plot so far it's just such a cozy and warm read like I get like warm feelings when I read it it's just so wonderful so far and definitely kind of the slow paced mystery that I really needed this week so as I said it's Thanksgiving we watched the parade a bit this morning and I drink tea and read some more and the rest of the day is kind of just gonna be relaxing with family I'm gonna bake some stuff with my grandma later I think we're gonna make banana muffins for tomorrow morning we usually do a big family brunch the morning after Thanksgiving so I think we're gonna make muffins for that and then I'm gonna read and help my mom cook some more and it's just gonna be a very cozy and fun day I just want to reiterate how much I love Thanksgiving and how excited I am just for this day as a whole my cousins are coming my grandparents are here it's all just really wonderful and while I have you guys here I just want to say how much I adore you so much and love you to the moon and back because you guys are great um but yeah, let's get started with the day. Do you want to say hi, Mr. Loud Boy? Do you want to say hi to the people? Can you say hello? Say hello, Internet. 
Say hello, internet. <laughs>